so we are making progress on 4680, but uh, right now, as Elon mentioned, we are leveraging supplier cells, which we have in sufficient quantity to ramp Texas and Berlin. We expect to ramp total 4680 production to exceed 1K per week by the end of the year, hopefully before, well before. 1,000 is only an estimate, but Giga Texas wants to produce 5,000 packs per week, and by the end of the year, it'll probably be doable. So, how is the 4680 battery production plan at Giga Texas really going? Let's find out in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel! If you're new, by the way, we would appreciate it very much if you would subscribe and ring that bell so you won't miss out on the next exciting episode. Now, let's get started on today's content. Tesla continues to face challenges with the 4680 battery production ramp up as scaling is the biggest challenge for every manufacturer. However, the overall production of new cells should exceed 5,000 battery packs per week by the end of the year, the company said. The estimated cost to make a thousand packs is 9.2 million US dollars. If Tesla can produce 5,000 packs, the cost might reach 46 million, a startling amount for a plant producing vehicle batteries. Wow! Elon Musk will undoubtedly need to pay attention to this if he wants to lower the price of electric vehicles. Over the last few months, Tesla has been fairly quiet about the production of its new 4680 battery cell that enables its new structural battery pack design. This has been a concern for Tesla investors since the new battery technology is seen as critical to Tesla's future vehicle programs. The concerns grew larger as the automaker launched Model Y production at Gigafactory Berlin with the old architecture based on 2170 cells, and after launching Model Y production at Gigafactory Texas with 4680 cells, it recently added the production of Model Y vehicles with the old architecture at the Austin factory as well. Everything pointed to Tesla having major issues ramping up production of the new and much bigger cell. Much of Tesla's conference call with analysts and shareholders for the release of its second quarter of 2022 financial results the other day revolved around the 4680 cell. The automaker confirmed that it is having issues ironing out production processes for new technologies in the cell, including its dry electrode technology. So, so structural pack where we get dual use of the battery uh, or the cells as structure and as, as energy storage in the same way that an aircraft gets dual use the wing as a fuel tank and as a wing. I think unequivocally from a physics standpoint, the superior architecture, it's the A architecture. At the moment, Tesla mainly uses 2170 battery cells to manufacture its vehicles. According to the company, they should be enough for the planned volume of car production in 2022 without any problems. However, in 2023, 4680 cells will come into play. Senior VP of Powertrain and Energy Engineering at Tesla, Drew Buglino, said the manufacturer should reach 5,000 battery packs per week by the end of this year, though he hopes that will be well before the end of the year. It is worth emphasizing that we have enough 2170 cells to, uh, to satisfy uh, oil vehicle production for the remainder of the year, so we're not dependent on 4680. 4680 will be important next year, uh, but it is not important this year. Maglino also said that the production line at Cato in Fremont, California continues to ramp up production and has seen output rise by about 35% month on month since March. In addition, yields across the factory have already reached targets in most areas. In order to achieve a positive result, the company has made changes to the design of the cell to ensure higher performance and ease of manufacturing. Additionally, the product lines have been further integrated and additional content has been added. Due to these changes, Giga Texas and Giga Berlin need to overcome some new ramp issues before mass production can begin. In the second quarter, at Cato, we fully automated power conveyance for the dry anode electrode tool there, unlocking major increases in production and improvements in yields. Since March, because of that, Cato's output has grown about 35% month over month each month since, and yields throughout the factory are already at targets in most areas and trending in that direction and a few others. We did feed learnings from Fremont cell and pack lines to Texas and Berlin there, a carbon copy. Cell design was revved to unlock higher performance and manufacturing simplicity. Manufacturing lines were further integrated and we insourced additional content. 
For these reasons, there are some new ramp challenges to overcome in Texas and Berlin, Buglino said. The 4680 battery's characteristics which will be produced in Texas are equally outstanding. Tesla's 4680 type battery cell weight was 355 grams. The estimated total capacity is 26.136 amp hours, while total energy is estimated at 96 to 99 watt hours, assuming at 3.7 to 3.8 volts. That should be in line with the rumor about 98 watt hour capacity. The energy density of the cell is estimated then at 272 to 296 watt hours per kilogram, which is very good and basically comparable to the best cells on the market. Troy Teslike noted in February of 2022 that there is a rumor that the first generation of Tesla's cell is 98 watt hours. In the following years, an improved energy density is expected to offer higher energy, 108 watt hours, which is up by 10% in 2023, and 118 watt hours, which is up 9.3% from 108 watt hours in 2024. The 4680 type cell already stores over five times more energy than the physically smaller 2170 type cell. The pack total energy is interestingly close to the reported usable battery capacity of over 67 kilowatt hours in a made in Texas or MIT Tesla Model Y. Let's also recall that the new MIT Tesla Model Y with 4680 type battery has not been listed as long range in EPA's documents but simply as the Tesla Model Y all-wheel drive, and it has 15% less range than the version with the 2170 type cells. You can expect 279 miles from the 4680 versus the 330 miles from the 2170. However, having a structural battery means that Tesla will be able to save weight on the car structure level, making the energy density on the car level noticeably higher. At least, that's what Tesla's CEO Elon Musk outlined during the Battery Day event in 2018. Moreover, Tesla's perspective is not to rely only on its own 4680 production. Cell partner Panasonic sent the first 4680 sample cells to Tesla and started its own pilot production in Japan back in May. Last week, it became known that the battery factory for series production will probably be built in Kansas. Meanwhile, Samsung SDI is building its 4680 pilot line in Cheonan, with series production reportedly to take place later in Malaysia. Otherwise, that's it for today's episode. Now, if you have any interesting topics you would like us to cover, please let us know in the comment section down below as well. And if you enjoyed today's episode as much as I did, please leave a like, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell so you won't miss out on the next exciting episode of Tesla Car World. Once again, we thank you so much from all of us here. We hope to see you again next time. Until then, have a good one and be safe.